You know, for a lot of people, Minecraft is their favorite game. And there will never be a replacement for Minecraft. And I think that goes for everybody. You can't replace Minecraft. It is a cornerstone of gaming and it will be that way for the end of time. But no matter how many people love a certain game, there will always be a small fraction of people that absolutely hate it. No matter how many people like it, no matter how big it is or popular, there will be those that just don't understand and don't have the same view as everyone else. Firstly, for me, I love Minecraft. <laughs> have you seen my channel? I love it. In this video, we're going to be talking about those people, the minority, the haters, the frauds, the ones that leave a one star review on random websites. These people are brave. I will, I will give them that. Going against popular culture and speaking out against the Minecraft demon. Because let's be honest, it's a violent game. There's a lot of harsh themes in Minecraft. You can go to the underworld, Ooh, Satan's lair. Let's just hop in and read some of the one star reviews that people have left on Minecraft. Very addicting, do not buy. My kid is sitting on the computer all day long. I can't get her off. This game is all she talks about. Don't waste your 20 bucks. Go buy them books instead. If your kid was reading books all day long and all she was talking about was a book, would you have the same reaction? All books are addicting, very bad. Don't waste your 20 bucks. Are you upset that your child is actually passionate about something? There's something that they love to do and you want to rip it away. A parent of a 13 year old, more like ex parent of a 13 year old. I'd be out of there so fast. This is a one star review, but the only thing that she mentions is that the game is too fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you want your kids to have too much fun, oh, don't buy Minecraft. <laughs> Mom, I'm trying to game. PewDiePie plays all day. I can play too. One star, very violent. In this game, there are swords and you kill other people and animals. It's very violent and not for children. Written by Soy Milk is Healthy for You. Okay, well, you're a square. I'm not listening to a square. Is this really an appropriate game? for children and teenagers. That's the headline. Yeah, a lot of people think so. I mean, have you seen the rest of the reviews? They're all five stars. A lot of parents think it's fine. This one, fine. There you go. Parent of a 10 year old. Thank you, Jay. My 15 year old son was playing the game when I walked in and watched him for about 15 minutes without him knowing. Right off the bat, I can tell you're good at parents. And then a young female about his age joined his game and it was madness. They were saying things in the chat that you would hear in an R-rated film. Obviously, he was attracted to the girl, but thankfully, I put an end to it by angrily picking up his computer and throwing it in the trash. He was grounded for a year and was never allowed to talk to the girl again. He's 15. Leave him alone. This review could be for literally any other game. Every game has a chat where you could say whatever you want. So I don't think it's Minecraft's fault. <laughs> an inappropriate game so what isn't an inappropriate game then dora you want your 15 year old son to play dora the explorer because there's no online chat oh this one should be good help that's the <laughs> they need help minecraft has taken them hostage i bought this game for my son and it was missing single player slash multiplayer features i contacted support which is a hassle and they never responded you bought the game and it was missing single player features this was the first of this year. You're living in 2020 and you don't know how to download Minecraft correctly. I just find that very hard to believe. How did you even get on this website? One star, they, they need help. They need some technical support. Don't buy. Zombies are really scary. If you want your kid to not sleep for weeks, then definitely buy this game. Somebody should tell them that zombies are not a theme only found in Minecraft. It's popular culture, you can find zombies anywhere. Literally, anyway, TV, shows, YouTube, uh, movies. There's zombies in movies. But Minecraft, when Minecraft does it, get out of here. Why does Minecraft cost money now? Why isn't it free anymore? When's the last time you played Minecraft? It was never free. It was free like in the beta when you couldn't even craft. You could only mine. They might have just called it mine. And that, that's it. That's all you could do. You could place blocks. You could not craft anything. I don't think it was. Yeah, no, that doesn't make any sense. Minecraft is not what you think it is. Minecraft? Kids are performing satanic rituals, sacrifices, etc. <laughs> what an opener. I can't wait to read the rest of this. I am 44 years old. I've been playing video games since Zork. Arcades, Atari, Nintendo, Sega. Yeah, wow. You know old video games. Very good. I thought Minecraft was about building shelters with blocks of wood. Well, about one month of my six-year-old playing about one hour total a week. Max. An hour a week? That's not a lot of time. You gave them one hour to play. I don't even think they know how to play Minecraft. I came in to find him excitedly telling me how he almost 
is done putting the last piece to make the jukebox so he can put the disc 666 that he made to hear the weird sounds. Oh, not the weird sounds. Oh. So I asked him where he learned about this, who told him to do this as not to raise suspicion that I was upset. Oh yeah, I'm sure he couldn't tell at all. It sounded like he learned it from YouTube videos he saw. He then proceeded to show me how he builds a nuclear bomb and detonates it, leaving a giant smoking crater in the Minecraft realm. Oh, how dare you? Look, I mean, nobody wants a kid to build a nuclear bomb in real life, so he, why don't we'll just let him build it in Minecraft where he can't hurt anybody? It, it seems so silly reading this. Let's just see how he finishes it off. So when I started looking into it, it turns out that there's a whole crazy dark satanic sign to mine the craft. Why is he keep doing that? What does that mean? Mind? Are you, are you saying it's taking control of your son's mind? Your six-year-old son? Minecraft is controlling your son's mind because you keep putting the D in there and Minecraft is not spelt with a D. There is nothing to do with your mind. There are countless videos online showing kids to perform satanic rituals and sacrifices. Where? Summoning demons? Are you talking about the wither skeleton? I don't think this guy has played Minecraft. <laughs> One star. Furious. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Adult. Too much mine. Not enough craft. This game severely dissatisfied me. I went into the game looking to mine and craft. Left with only disappointment. My son loves it, but I found setting blocks themselves to be unrealistic. Thus, lost the immersion factor in the game. A game with this much recognition should have better blocks. Very upset. Thank you, Shane. Um, I'd have to disagree, but to which is their own. At least you didn't uh, get mad at your son for performing nuclear rituals or whatever. My eight-year-old son got this because his friends at school taught him about it. I took one look at the game and saw my son die in it from a green creepy. <laughs> Minecraft has monsters called creepies. That <laughs> kill you. They're called creepers, bro. Caw. Call yourself a gamer. Too violent for my kids because there's monsters and death. Unfortunately, there's death in every game. It's honestly how you lose in almost every game. He also joined a multiplayer server and someone insulted him because he was new to Minecraft and didn't know how to change his avatar. He was called an ugly noob, which are swear words in my house. <laughs> you didn't know what a creeper is, but you know what a noob is. Not safe. This title contains violence and scariness. Language. Language! Watch out for that language, guys, because um, it will hurt. It will do things. Now, we've read a few one-star reviews. On the other side of the spectrum, we have a game reviewer 101 who says that it's an amazing game. It's so addictive, and you can do whatever you want. All you need is an imagination. Children of all ages can play it, and they will not cry from the creepies. That last part I added in, but you know. Obviously there's nothing wrong with Minecraft. I just think it is so funny reading these reviews of people that have never played it. They just see their kids playing it and they're like, whoa! I'm sure that this is the same people that see their kids do anything and they create a reason in their mind why they should not be doing it. The common consensus is that Minecraft is a completely fine game. It's, it's appropriate. And then there's other people that violence to animals, bad. Bad, sexy stuff. Where in Minecraft is that? <laughs> Drinking drugs and smoking. There, you can't do any of that in Minecraft. You can't. Bad game. I think they're just afraid of Minecraft. They're afraid of the creepies. So, eh, whatever. My kids love Minecraft so much, but it has so much violence in the game. It's horrible. Killing animals. It's awful. There's so much blood in the game. <laughs> Never download this awful, unchristian game. May God be with you. There's absolutely no blood in Minecraft. I mean, you could add a mod, I think. There's probably plenty of mods which adds gore, but there's no blood. The completely frustrated parents just like pick everything. This title contains everything that's bad and wrong with the world. It's Minecraft's fault. Not for kids. There are monsters on the game and my son was very scared. Do not buy this. He's 17, by the way. I wouldn't say that 17 is a kid. He's a, he's a teenager. He's one year away from being an adult and he's afraid of the monsters in Minecraft. Susan, I'm not here to question your parenting techniques, but I don't know if your son is well. The monsters in Minecraft cannot hurt him. I don't know. I don't even know. One star. Boring. <laughs> Granddaughter loves it. Music is mind-blowingly awful. But hey, I'm a grandmother. <laughs>
why did you even leave this review? That's so unnecessary. No one cares if you think it's boring. You, this should have been a five-star review as far as I'm concerned. Your granddaughter loved the game. I think that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. I went and I couldn't really find any more like uh, really, really funny reviews. That first website was amazing. But if you guys want me to do this again or do it on another game, let me know in the comments. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Merch link in the description. I will see all of you in the next video. Later!